The intent of this video is to discuss how a B-17 gunner used their gun sights to estimate the range of a fighter interceptor. Once an enemy fighter was observed by the gunner, he would use the interphone system to alert the rest of the crew. He would first yell bandits to get the crew's attention, then indicate the number of bandits and approximate range. He would then relay the position of the bandits relative to the bomber based on the hands of a clock and if the bandit was high, level, or low. The gunner would only open fire when the interceptor is attacking and within range. B-17 gunners were trained to open fire at a target range of 600 yards or less. They would not fire beyond 600 yards except for head-on attacks. This chart shows a B-17 bomber under attack from three directions. The hands of a clock are represented by the lines extending radially outward from the bomber to a 600 yard effective range. Aircraft A is attacking from the 1030 high direction. Aircraft B is attacking from the 3 o'clock level direction. And Aircraft C is attacking from the 630 low direction. Gunners were to yell incoming only if the interceptor started its attacking pursuit curve. Escorting fighters were instructed never to point their fighters at a formation of bombers, lest they be fired upon. Gunners were instructed to keep a 20-inch distance from the 35 mil rad ring sight to their eye. This is called the sight base. Maintaining a 20-inch sight base is essential for range estimation and position deflection firing. In simple terms, this is how range estimation worked. We will reference the interceptor's wingspan relative to the gun's ring sight, using the Messerschmitt ME109 as an example. If the fighter's wingtips are framed within the ring sight's diameter, the fighter is 150 yards from your firing position. If the wingtips span one half of the ring sight's diameter, the fighter is 300 yards from your firing position. If the wingtips span one-fourth of your ring sight's diameter, the fighter is 600 yards from your firing position. Bomber gunners would memorize wingspans of other German interceptors and modify the distances of the ring sight accordingly. Bomber gunners were required to complete a 20-hour aircraft recognition class as part of their six-week gunner training curriculum. This gunner training chart shows a student the relative size of a ring sight relative to a Messerschmitt ME109 at various distances. All of these fighters are out of range, except for head-on attacks. Due to the high closing speed, gunners would fire at a range of 1,000 yards or less only for incoming head-on attacks. This plane is at 600 yards and is just in range to open fire. B-17 tail gunners also adopted the 35 mil rad ring sight. His ring sight was mechanically linked to his guns. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, World War II U.S. Bombers.